This noontime, we are working developing news for you. We are learning more about how police say someone jumped into an ambulance, parked at Rhode Island Hospital, and drove to the Connecticut border just this morning. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado is working the latest now live in Providence. Well, that ambulance is back in Providence now, Brian, and apparently undamaged after police say a suspect stole it from Rhode Island Hospital and then drove to Connecticut. We have some video for you of the ambulance pulled over by Connecticut State Police on 95 near exit 92 this morning. The driver, Johnny Kimbra, arrested there and taken into custody. Providence Police say Kimbra jumped into the ambulance outside the Rhode Island Hospital Emergency Department and drove away this morning. The paramedics had just unloaded a patient moment Moments before and came back out to find the vehicle gone. Providence police say the ambulance was left running, unlocked, and unattended. Public Public Safety Commissioner Stephen Perry says this is often done for practical reasons to keep the computers and equipment up and running, but he says the fire department employees will be told today they cannot leave vehicles running and unattended. Perhaps a lack of judgment and a practice that, you know, it's been happening for a number of years here and that we just need to tighten up. And Perry says the suspect was a patient at Rhode Island Hospital when he came out and allegedly stole the vehicles. His motives unknown at this time, but Perry says a GPS in the ambulance shows he did not exceed 65 miles an hour the whole time he had it. Now that suspect will need to be arranged in Connecticut before he can be extradited back to Rhode Island to face charges. Live in Providence, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.